just how dangerous is Prescott. Fun, quick, throws great combinations. And he says he's going to have his gloves up there to this back. It's Prescott who lands with a nice jab early on. Nice right hand again, and a fast left two from Andy Akadu. But this new trainer holds it. Let's just hope he is okay. The first punch that caused the trouble was one to the temple. That's befuddled him before, and there was really no way back, I think, from then on. Prescott was as good as his word. He was a heavy hitter. We did wonder, with a guy who's been on the floor as he was against Willie Lim and Michael Gomez, why do you hire a man with a knockout record like that from Columbia for him? But it was a test he had to pass. He couldn't pass it. I mean, you can see the look of Prescott. He knew exactly what he was doing. His body weight was on his front foot. His chin was down. He was taking punches. He landed a beautiful jab straight through Khan's gap. But with that, it went straight through, and you can see that had an effect on Khan's legs. The Khan always eager to please, sometimes too eager to please. But Prescott has the look of a man here and knows exactly what he's doing. And that was as soon as he landed cleanly. Last time the fight was over at this point. When he, when he got back on his feet at the count of eight, he was still all over the place. I think uh, the referee could have stepped in here and called it off. But because of the pressure, obviously, and here's a rising star, he gave up his chance. The one more shot, and it was over. It's a very, very sad sight. This was the first knockdown. A huge right and then a left hook. Great punches from the Colombian. Now this is a heavy, heavy knockdown here. That is a heavy, heavy knockdown. You have to be thinking serious at this point on. Will he recover from this? Didn't look like it to me. Bang! He's a solid. Look how powerful these shots are. He's turning the hip, the shoulder, everything behind those shots. Again, a man who's used to finishing opponents. Is there any way back for Khan? from a, a defeat as damaging and stunning and in, as emphatic as that, Jim. Well, the popularity the young man has, but obviously they have to go back to the drawing board. But let's face it, the big question was, can he take world-class punches? If he can't, then there's not a future. But you can't, you, you, you can't put that on a young man of 21 at this stage of his career. He's going to have to come back for that. It's going to have to be addressed. But you can see it was all over. The way he crumbled to the floor here is alarming. Well, the road from amateur stardom to a professional world championship really is a boulevard of broken dreams. And I'm afraid to say it, Khan's dream has been broken tonight. That is a bad knockout. Goodness me, uh, Terry O'Connor gave him every chance, but there really was no, no way back at all. There will be inquests as well about this. There are bound to be inquests. What a sensational, stunning story here in Manchester tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, at 54 seconds of round one, Emmy Khan has failed to...